welcome to my channel once uh, as we have seen in the last lecture the modeling of molybdenum disulfide so the structure is looking like this uh, as we told like uh, we will see the properties of this structure or this compound in quantum espresso so first of all we need to export this file so that we can use that file to simulate in quantum expression okay for that uh, you can go to the file options then we can export data and here you need to save in any locations accordingly you can say yourself okay as your requirement or as your uh, help okay so uh, that's enough if you save in that format dot cif okay we can save in this format i have already saved this file so i am not saving right now okay now come to the uh, quantum expression so this is burai a uh, graphical user interface for quantum expression okay in this software whatever uh, model that you uh, the structure you have modeled in vesta that you can uh, insert okay then you can import here directly so for that how we can import uh, we can visit in our computer system here you can change your directory according to your locations okay so you could find the uh, your file cif file that you saved in that directory okay i have already uh, imported my file this is my file okay uh, so come here so we can uh, model okay we can model our structure here also so the whatever with the positions and locations that we can shift it using all these tools okay this is already modeled in vesta so no need to further do anything else so i am not doing anything else but we can do also some modifications here also here some input files this input input files indicate the uh, quantum espresso uh, commands okay whatever be the quantum espresso uh, commands are there these are indicated by this input file okay so this input file will be form itself in this burai otherwise if you directly use the quantum espresso then we need to write all these files okay so first of all we need to do the geometric optimization of this structure because in vesta we have taken some reference from materials project site okay that may be a optimized structure or might not so we need to first optimize our geometry for that we can visit here that geometric optimizations in this optimizations we can uh, use these commands okay so here uh, that some uh, already data are here so all these data are correct here okay so here are some convergent ratio so we can provide that convergent ratio up to 10 to the power minus 4 okay that will be better okay if threshold is low then your uh, optimization will be better and method we are using bfgs okay and in the cell optimizations also this threshold this is okay all these are okay okay now come to the scf in scf also this is maximum time this is also okay 
Next, uh, we need to set the cutoff wave fields and charge. All these are uh, we will get from uh, that pseudo potential file. Okay, this cutoff for the wave field and charges are indicated by the pseudo potential file. Again, some uh, here uh, K points we need to set and occupation we need to keep fixed. Okay, and here electronic optimization, these are also correct. We no need to do anything else. Magnetizations, we don't need to do anything else. We uh, simply need to keep non polarized. Okay, as we are not concerning with any magnetizations, hence it is non polarized such that we can uh, uh, set our uh, density of states commands also and such that we need to uh, set our uh, bands also okay these are uh, high symmetric bands uh, k points actually this is brillouin zone bz okay and here i have provided 30 numbers of bands this will uh, that's after simula simulation uh, the, uh, the result will showing us 30 number of bands okay so we can check also here input files so this is our uh, cal command for calculation to band structure so this is uh, the uh, input file for band structure calculations as we are changing here if we change to density of states then this is calculation for density of state this is called nscf okay and also for the cif file this is for calculation command for cif file or input file for cif file and this is optimization file okay after uh, providing all these commands we need to run okay we need to run this structure or a simulate here we can one by one simulate our structure okay so for uh, first we need to do optimizations okay so for this we can optimize this structure here uh, some optimization will require some uh, more times so that uh, i have already optimized my structure so that i can directly go to the result so in result this is log optimized this is the output file for our optimizations for the structure okay so here at the end we need to see the force calculated okay the force calculated for this structure that should be minimum so we need to find out from here So this is the our optimized structures. Okay, this is atomic positions. This is our optimized structure. Okay, uh, at this positions or this is optimized uh, positions or locations of these atoms, the whatever be the energy of that structure is minimum. That is called ground state energy. So we need to find that ground state energy by uh, using optimizations okay now we need to copy these uh, locations or positions of atoms and we need to insert that uh, locations or positions in this hcf input file okay so we need to replace all those positions here okay after replacing here we need to run our 
we need to run our SCF file. So also I have already run my SCF files here. So I can show you my SCF. So this is SCF file. Okay. So this is output for the SCF file. So in this SCF file, uh, here it is doing some iterations. After uh, doing some iteration, the SCF calculation is converged and that after the uh, converse, the total energy provided by this simulation is this much. Okay, so this is the ground state energy. This is actually this is the minimum energy that is achievable at the at the optimized structure. Okay. Similarly, we can do our uh, simulation for density of states and also for band structure. Okay, I have already done simulations you can do yourself in your structure okay i am so that i am directly showing the result for you so i can use this uh, gnu plot this is used for plotting graph okay so we need to write this plot commands after writing this plots command we will get our structure density of uh, sorry the band structure okay so in this band structure the fermi energy level we can check here so espresso dot dash dos here we will get the fermi energy level so this is our fermi energy level okay so this will nearly in this point the uh, 0.7 electron volt nearly this point so Below that Fermi energy level, the band structure will be the balance band structure and above that, that will be conduction band structure. So the energy gap between these two uh, bands, bands will be our band gap energy. And for this molybdenum disulfide, the energy band gap is around 1.5 electron volt. Okay, so we can do some uh, calculations between this uh, high, uh, highest occupied level and lowest occupied conduction band. Okay, the difference between these two bands is our band gap energy. Okay, and this is come around 1.5 electron. Thank you for the watching this video and please like my video and comment and please subscribe. Thank you.